Was there a quid pro quo? As I testified previously, with regard to the requested White House call and the White House meeting, the answer is yes. Damning testimony Wednesday in the public impeachment inquiry into Donald Trump. The U.S. ambassador to the European Union, Gordon Sondland, a wealthy hotel entrepreneur who was named to his post by Trump and who donated a million dollars to Trump's inaugural committee, telling U.S. lawmakers he worked with Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, on Ukraine at the express direction of the U.S. president. Mr. Giuliani was expressing the desires of the president of the United States, and we knew these investigations were important to the president. We followed the president's orders. Trump is accused of trying to pressure Ukraine to investigate the 2016 election. And his domestic political rival, Joe Biden, and Biden's son, Hunter, who work for the Ukrainian energy firm Burisma, by using a White House visit for Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky as leverage, part of a quid pro quo, a Latin phrase meaning a favor for a favor. Sondland said he later came to believe $400 million in frozen U.S. aid to Ukraine was also being held up until the investigations were announced. Mr. Giuliani's requests were a quid pro quo for arranging a White House visit for President Zelensky. Mr. Giuliani demanded that Ukraine make a public statement announcing the investigations of the 2016 election, DNC server, and Burisma. Is the only logical conclusion to you that, given all of these factors, that the aid was also a part of this quid pro quo? Yep. But Republicans, through their counsel, argue there was no direct link to Trump. Did the president ever tell you personally about any preconditions for anything? No. Okay, so the president never told you about any preconditions for the aid to be released? No. Uh, the president never told you about any preconditions for a White House meeting? Personally, no. The, uh, you said you didn't have your records or your documents from the State Department, but if you did, there wouldn't be any document or record that ties President Trump personally to any of this, correct? Boy, I don't want to speculate what would be... You know, your documents or records. I don't recall anything like okay. that. Okay. No. I just noticed one thing, and I would say that means it's all over. Holding a handwritten cheat sheet, why Donald Trump is declaring victory, saying the impeachment probe is over, and still ahead, how Republicans are coming to his defense. You really have no testimony today. Ready? You have the cameras rolling? Donald Trump coming to his own defense Wednesday as day four of public impeachment hearings were underway with bombshell testimony coming from U.S. Ambassador to the EU, Gordon Sondland. Testimony Trump claims exonerated him. That means it's all over. While holding a handwritten note with apparent talking points in black marker, Trump repeating part of Sondland's description of a phone call between the two. What do you want from Ukraine? I keep hearing all these different ideas and theories. This is Ambassador Sondland speaking to me. I say to the ambassador in response, I want nothing, I want nothing, I want no quid pro quo. Tell Zelensky, President Zelensky, to do the right thing. While Sondland, a wealthy Trump donor appointed to his post by the U.S. president, did describe that call during the hearing, he opened his testimony saying there was a quid pro quo, meaning a favor for a favor, telling lawmakers that Trump's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, was trying to get Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky to publicly commit to investigations into Trump's political rival in exchange for an official White House visit. Mr. Giuliani's requests were a quid pro quo for arranging a White House visit for President Zelensky. Mr. Giuliani demanded that Ukraine make a public statement announcing the investigations of the 2016 election, DNC server, and Burisma. Mr. Giuliani was expressing the desires of the President of the United States, and we knew these investigations were important to the President. Sondland also implicated the most senior people in the Trump administration including Vice President Mike Pence and Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Everyone was in the loop. 
Sondland also testified he came to believe that $400 million in U.S. aid to Ukraine was contingent on the probes that would benefit Trump politically. But he never heard it directly from the U.S. president. No one on this planet told you that President Trump was tying aid to investigations. Yes or no? Yes. So you really have no testimony today that ties President Trump to a scheme to withhold aid from Ukraine in exchange for these investigations. Other than my own presumption. Which is nothing. My colleagues seem to be under the impression that unless the president spoke the words, Ambassador Sondland, I am bribing the Ukrainian president, that there's no evidence of bribery. If he didn't say, Ambassador Sondland, I'm telling you I'm not going to give the aid unless they do this, that there's no evidence of a quid pro quo on military aid. We are adjourned. Public impeachment hearings continue Thursday with testimony from David Holmes, an aide to the Ukraine envoy who overheard a July 26 call between Sondland and Trump. Thank you, folks. Have a good time. I'm going to... For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.